What we saw from September 23rd on is truly catastrophic. The level of trauma, the level of fear amongst the population um, has been, been extreme. We need access. We need to be able to reach people. They need to be able to reach us. Civilians have been bearing the great brunt of what's been going on. We need a, a ceasefire. We need a cessation as soon as possible. I think what we saw from September 23rd on is truly catastrophic. It's something that, you know, the people use the word unbelievable. I mean, what are we living through? What are we looking at over here? Um, the level of trauma, the level of fear amongst the population um, has been, been extreme. Uh, we launched a flash appeal just um, two days ago um, for $426 million. Um, we've got the system set up, we've got the humanitarians here, we've got the government, we've got excellent local NGOs that we know and that we've been working with, we've got international NGOs, um, we can respond, um, but we need the resources. We had the launch two days ago and um, at the launch itself Italy and France spoke and, and pledged there. Um, we've heard from the EU, we've heard from a number of Nordic donors that they are expecting I think a lot of our key donors are essentially with their capitals right now trying to mobilize funds and, and, and get them. We need access. We need to be able to reach people. They need to be able to reach us. And that relates to international humanitarian law and respect of international humanitarian law. Um, the, there has been too much uh, damage to civilian infrastructure. Um, certainly civilians have been bearing the great brunt of what's been going on. We see that in terms of the numbers of displaced, in terms of the people one seeing and talking to and um, trying to understand and trying to advise also and trying to assist and protect. 97, I think today's figure is a total of 97 um, medical and emergency workers who have been killed so far and the majority of them is, is certainly in the last 10 days. Um, so that aspect of IHL is extremely important right now. Um, to, be, to allow humanitarians to be able to access those in need and help them. Um, civilian infrastructure has been hit a great deal. So it's protection of civilian infrastructure. Um, water uh, establishments, water systems, electricity, all of this. So th this is what we call for when we're saying respect the rules of law, uh, sorry, the, 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 the rules of war in this. I know it's not a humanitarian solution that's going to come from this, and I know it's not a military solution that's going to come to, from, to this. It has to be a diplomatic, political solution to it. Um, but to move towards that, we need a, a ceasefire. We need a cessation as soon as possible. The numbers we have about Syrians crossing, about people crossing, basically, um, are not exact, I think, at this point, but what we're hearing from the government side over here is 240,000 that have moved over the recent days, um, of whom some 70 to 80% are Syrian, and the, the others are Lebanese.